Tiny Chefs. We're here in the kitchen. I'm here with Bella today. Bella, how are you today? Good. Good. Are you having a good summer so far? Yes. Good. How old are you, Bella? I'm 11. 11! Yay! And what school do you go to? Castle Heights Middle School. Castle Heights Middle School. And where is that? In Rock Hill. Rock Hill! Yay! We have a Rock Hill girl with us today. So you're gonna help me with my recipe today and July is red, white, and blue month. We're missing a little blue, but we'll, we'll consider our napkins our blue. We're gonna make watermelon slushy today. Have you ever made a slushy? No. No? Oh, this is gonna be really fun. Um, and this is a great thing to do because sometimes we get a big, huge watermelon. Look at what's left over after I get my 10 cups of cubed watermelon. I still have a half a watermelon left, so you could eat those in slices, but this slushy will be a nice drink on a hot July day. So, we ready to get started? Okay. We're gonna use our food processor today, and the key about the watermelon is we froze it. We cubed it up and we froze it. You could freeze it overnight. It didn't take long to freeze this. I cut it up this morning and then you take it out about five minutes before you're ready to use it. That's the key to getting it really slushy. Otherwise, if you just use the watermelon, it's gonna be real watery. So this is gonna give it like little, almost like ice factor to it. All right, so let's get started. Um, we are gonna use our food processor today. You could use a blender, um, and this recipe calls for five cups of watermelon frozen watermelon so we're going to put that in there hopefully we lost a few pieces but that's okay all right and it calls for two tablespoons of maple syrup i love maple syrup have you tried maple syrup no it is well, awesome i only eat it on pancakes on pancakes it makes for a great sweetener instead of sugar we're gonna put in three-fourths cup of water. I'll let you add that. One lime. Have you guys ever seen one of these? I know that my tiny chefs who have taken my classes love this tool. So this yellow one is really for lemons, but we're gonna use it. A lime one is green and it's smaller, but it's, this still works. But you put your lime face down and then you squeeze. Oh, and lime juice with watermelon is so good. Even when I just eat sliced watermelon, I love squeezing a lime over it. It just adds a lot of flavor. Now our recipe also calls for some herbs, and we love to use herbs here in the kitchen so we had a choice between basil and mint, and we're going with the mint. So probably about an eighth a cup, or you could just do, you know, just a handful of mint. I think we're ready, Bella. You want to hit, you could hit high if you want. So we're ready to try. This is our favorite part in the kitchen, taste testing. Ooh, I can see the mint. It's all broken up. Ooh, ooh, and I can actually smell the mint. And we didn't put a whole lot in that mint, did we? No. Just put a couple of sprigs in there. Okay. So here we go. I'm spilling it. Wow, that is, that looks so refreshing. We're ready to try our watermelon slushy. We like the extra lime, don't we? Yeah. So we're gonna put it on the edge of our glass, or you could even squeeze it and put it inside either way. I'm gonna put mine inside. So here we go, our favorite part, taste testing. Here's to watermelons. <laughs> Wow, what do you think? It's good. Oh my goodness, it's really good. 
pieces of watermelon in there are like bursting in my mouth and I can taste the mint, a little bit of mint too. Yum. We hope you love your watermelon slushies. All right. Catch us next time in the kitchen. This is red, white, and blue month and we're going to make red, white, and blue charcuterie board. Cheers, tiny chef.